One thing though, there's some, there's some guys I know, and they would love it if you said this as Albert Wesker. Don't call me Captain Whiskers, meow, meow, meow. <laughs> Don't call me Captain Whiskers, meow, meow, meow. Gaming. Man, I hope we wrap this murder investigation up soon. I was right in the middle of organizing my pogs and slap bracelets. <laughs> Can't wait to get home, kick off the combat boots, and crack open a cold one. By a cold one, I mean a can of Dr. Radical! <laughs> yes! I know what my superhero name is now. Right? I have a doctorate in radology. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <clears throat> Is your party suffering from a case of lame? Time to make an appointment with Dr. Radical, dude. <laughs> it's, it's just like I can see the commercial. It's like a bunch of 13 year olds hanging out at a really lame party. And the mom's like, here's some milk and cookies. And then the TV fires on. And Dr. Radical's like, lucky for you, I make house calls. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> you suck, mom. <laughs> oh, man. Giving so many good ideas away for free. <laughs> I know, right? Call us Dr. Radical, people. <laughs> oh, nice. Put a blue herb and a green herb together and you get hostess snowballs. <laughs> they do look like hostess snowballs. Stellar. <laughs> <laughs> Keep that blood sugar up. Yep, standard stars field rations. Hostess snowballs and Dr. Radical. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to stop letting Billy's mom pack our field kits. <laughs> oh, what have we here? Score. Use this to protect yourself from that monster in chains that can't be hurt by guns. I also fixed the doorknob to make sure you can get away. Aww. <laughs> Eternally yours, Wesker. Captain Whiskers, you my boo. <laughs> Don't call me Captain Whiskers. <clears throat> P.S. Do you like me as more than a friend? <laughs> Check yes or no. Christmas at the Waco compound. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> Chris is just leading him on for the sweet item drops. <laughs> what a tease. Now, any other item in the game, it'll let you deposit more and more into the same slot, but not the first aid spray. Oh, weak. Eh, Chris should drop those grenades on his back. They're in that no man's land that no human being can reach. The Acnestus? <laughs> uh, <laughs> sure. What's up, Cherub? I bet you can reach your Acnestus. <laughs> As a part of the second highest order of angels in the celestial hierarchy. Yeah. <laughs> Why is Rocky the squirrel in the second highest order of angels? <laughs> I ran out in the street, saw a car coming, ran back to safety, then ran back out. <laughs> oh, it's time. Jeez. Someone strapped a GoPro to Gary Busey. <laughs> hey, a good way to lose weight is to put salt on your ass and go to a petting zoo. <laughs> <laughs> that timed out perfectly. It was like Chris heard this cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs inspirational quote from behind him and immediately chose to open fire. <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't do the same in his shoes? I mean, really. <laughs> well, whoever said that has to die. <laughs> so, that was a hunter. They suck. <laughs> And they are, of course, Gary Busey clones spliced with dinosaur DNA. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> Is there no end to Umbrella's depravity? <laughs> <laughs> All right, moment of truth. Let's see how good a job Wesker did repairing the doorknob. Wow. Nice. You could really feel the new suspension. <laughs> Oh no, it's a goddamn sexual Tyrannosaurus! <laughs> yes! <laughs> you like that? Subtle. Ew. <laughs> Let's go get a look at that 
One ugly motherfucker. Yep, that's Gary Busey. <laughs> Failure stands for finding an important lesson, inviting needed growth. <laughs> Amazon Fire is taking their Gary Busey ad campaign into the realm of horrific gene splicing experiments. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, taking? <laughs> oh. Yeah. I'll tell you what, though. One bad movie I would not mind watching is a little gem called Ginger Dead Man. <laughs> <laughs> Ginger Dead Man? <laughs> That's right, Ginger Dead Man. Starring the one, the only, the enigmatic Gary Busey. And what, pray tell, is the Shakespearean yarn woven in Ginger Dead Man? You're a pretty bright robot. I'm sure you can guess. <laughs> is it a taut domestic drama chronicling the ups and downs of a dying ginger spice salesman? Ooh, real cold. Is it about a serial killer who targets gingers? <laughs> Warmer. It's about a killer gingerbread man, isn't it? Bingo! Oh my god. Just gonna grab the faceless Necronomicon here. <laughs> the book was bound in human elbow skin. Uh, <laughs> it's made out of weenuses! <laughs> Which sounds pretty scary. <laughs> yeah. You kind of fudge the W there. You really freak people out. Fudge my W. <laughs> <laughs> what does that even mean? Eh, Busey. I play badminton with the walrus at the Cracker Barrel. <laughs> <laughs> Is that authentic? Kind of. I have a Gary Busey simulator installed. Ah. Whoa! <laughs> Found somebody's stash. <laughs> There's like two hunters in there flushing their baggies down the toilet. <laughs> it's the 5 0. Flush it all. <laughs> <laughs> then one of them pulls the gun on the other. RPG. <laughs> Undercover. What? No. We were like brothers. <laughs> Don't make me shoot you, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> Undercover hunter. So, at long last, you see the use for the wooden mount. Oh, you use it to burn the mansion down with you in it. <laughs> Bold choice, but I support it. <laughs> Crossfire! Oh, there it is. You get caught up in the crossfire! Crossfire! <laughs> Nailed it. Man, this is like actually legitimately nice and cozy in here. Yeah. Note to self, bring Jill back here for Netflix and chill. Oh, it's been a good long while since I've had any Netflix and chill. What you, what you talking about? Don't you have like a little thing going on with Lady Deadpool? Uh, ha, ha. <laughs> nope. <laughs> All aboard the nope train to f thatville. Oh, the mansion's kegel exercises are really paying off. <laughs> <laughs> There's a switch here, press it, sure. Seems like a good time to just go pressing buttons willy-nilly. <laughs> well, it seems to have worked out so far. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, with, uh, Wanda, I... I think I'm just an apocalypse thing. Uh-huh. Yeah. She takes forever to text me back. Yeah. That's too bad. Oh, God! Huh. Yeah, you know me, man. I can't do the casual thing. It just feels so hollow. Mm-hmm. You's a strong, independent woman, Rick. You deserve more than just his it in the skizzins. I mean, it's not like I expect a wedding ring or anything, but... You walk away with a jaw ache like that, and you, you... <laughs> No. No. I'm not ready to take this bromance to that level, Rick. <laughs> Anytime you eat at the Y, keep it on the sly, and don't tell this guy. <laughs> Even made it rhyme for you so you remember. 
<laughs> Thanks. So, uh, Judith beheading... Holofernes. I got it. I'm cultured. <laughs> or you, at your next post-apocalyptic booty call. <laughs> Kinky. Yeah, whatever severs your spinal column. <laughs> There's a pile of shit here. Press it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess it's a hole. Ah, a book! Ah! <laughs> the only book worth reading is Fahrenheit 451. Ah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, well done. <clears throat> And then, in the epitome of irony, burn it! <laughs> <laughs> the last book, volume one? Uh, uh, <laughs> 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 okay. Is the dude who writes the Far Side cartoons naming all the books in this game? <laughs> <laughs> That's like what? Final Fantasy 2 through 15? <laughs> yeah. So, there was a eagle medal in the book. I could get into some eagle medal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Us at our most Beavis and Butthead. Uh, oh, reading. I'm starting to side with Chris. I'm a member of the anti-book club. We only watch the film adaptations. <laughs> Come on, man. Time's a-wasting. Uh, all right, here we go. <clears throat> it's going to be a very Gary Christmas. <laughs> yes. <laughs> of course. I don't read dates out loud to aliens are listening. I can't get out. I've tried every possible way to escape, only to be faced with the reality that I'm trapped. I've been everywhere. The laboratory with the large glass tubes filled with formaldehyde in those dark, wet, and eerie caves. What can I do but try tasting all of them? <laughs> At first, I didn't want to believe my eyes, but that familiar high-heeled shoe in the corridor, it was like reflex. One name came to my mind. Captain Whiskers. Don't call me Captain Whiskers. <laughs> I don't want to believe they share the same fate as me. No, I can't give up hope. I have to hope they're alive. I haven't had anything to eat or drink for the past few days. I feel like I'm going crazy. <laughs> Why is this happening to me? Why do I have to die like this? I was too obsessed with designing this ghastly mansion. I should have known better than to imitate Liberace with a claw hammer. What? It was a dark and damp underground tunnel and another dead end, but even in the darkness, something caught my eye. Carefully, I lit the last match. I had to see what it was. It was a crack pipe. A grave. But deeply engraved into the stone was my name, Gary Busey. At that moment, it all became clear to me. Those bastards at Amazon knew from the beginning that I'd die here. Covered in baby food. Wearing a rubber necktie. Rubber necktie? It's too late now, I'm losing it. Everything is becoming so far away. Jessica, Lisa, forgive me. I threw up in the VCR. Because of my ego. I got both of you involved in this whole damn conspiracy. Forgive me. May God justify my death in exchange for your safety on the black market. Gary Busey, 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 Busey. Who said that? <laughs> Gary Christmas to all. And to all a what the f***. <laughs> a name is carved into the small gravestone. George Trevor. There's a switch here. Press it. <laughs> It's like this game's catchphrase. I hope that's on the box art. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here lies George Trevor, beloved utility ladder. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually always bothered me. You never find the guy's body and you... Ah, nope. Here, have all the nopes. Because nope. Making a break for it. Uh. <laughs> oh, oh, damn, that ass, though. <laughs> damn, that cephalothorax, though. What's <laughs> up, player? Checking out my girl's ass? 
Oh, it's cool. We cool. I know her booty is slamming. <laughs> her booty is why God gave me eyeballs. <laughs> Eight of them. <laughs> Two is not enough to take in all that booty. <laughs> uh, basement map. <clears throat> <laughs> that Agnestis, though. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, I will cook you a candlelight dinner. Scratch the hell out of your Agnestis. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> the female spiders down the hall. Did you just gun down my husband? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So I read that at one point, someone produced a Resident Evil musical. <laughs> Did it go like this? There's a switch here. <laughs> Press it. I hope so. There's a switch here. Will you press it? Oh. Go down is about to be some shit. <laughs> My poopy pants are loud. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> Find me some flesh, please make it fresh. T-Virus, T-Virus, make me a ghoul. Ah. Ah. <laughs> what kind of zombie am I? <laughs> Shut up down there. <laughs> to go back and shoot him again. <laughs> shoot him in the head, shoot him in the head. That's the only way to make him dead. <laughs> We're dead! We're all messed up! <laughs> oh, That's, uh, okay. Do. <laughs> yeah, I'm over it. Yeah. Starting to suffer from a testosterone deficiency. Yep. <laughs> well, well, this is just a postcard. <laughs> yeah. It looks like the power supply for the elevator. The main fuse is blown out. Switch over. Um. Turn on live wires while standing in three inches of water? <laughs> Kill yourself? <laughs> the power supply appears to be functioning again. <laughs> yeah, get the hell out of there anyway. My first day on the job at Kmart. <laughs> yeah. And this isn't even in the back. These are just aisles. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is childcare. <laughs> All the enemies have been replaced just with unattended children with no shirts on. Handgun rounds. <laughs> oh, Bush League. <laughs> no. They lack the je ne sais quoi the magnum rounds. And this should bring us back into the kitchen. In our kitchen, the secret ingredient is love. <laughs> Kiss the cook, baby. Oh, Happiness is a kitchen full of family. <laughs> oh, around here, that has another meaning. <laughs> Good point. Uh, hey, so I have a humble request. Okay. If the hand bazooka can take down a hunter in one shot... I want to see what it has to say to a zombie. <laughs> uh, I thought you might. But just once. Deadly unicorns of the bullet world do not grow on trees. <laughs> and where do they come from? Uh, I think you have to find an enchanted forest and bring a maiden pure of heart and virtue and some cotton candy crap like that. I don't know. Some frou-frou magic gumdrop haberdashery? <laughs> Oh, we have worm trolleys. I can hear their squishy pants. <laughs> oh, oh, <Opa>! oh. <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus. <laughs> I just conducted my magnum opus. Oh, oh, oh. Huh? That, huh? that was a thing of beauty. You like? <laughs> 
<laughs> How funny would it be if a smart zombie, like, pulled all the pins on the grenades on Chris's back? <laughs> where he can't reach? Yes. <laughs> oh, Hi. I'm a mom. <laughs> Oh, Netflix and chill, huh? <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Look at Chris. So where's good to eat around here? Never mind, I just ate your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> good. No witnesses. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, the knob's broken. This is a job for Captain Whiskers. Don't call me Captain Whiskers. Oh, yeah, Rick. Uh, I forgot to tell you I had this Mondo Bizarro nightmare. Oh? Was it of electric sheep? Uh, no. <laughs> no, I had this really weird dream that we were in this alternate reality where I was a puppet instead of a robot. And you spelled your name. R-I-K-K, -K, like a douche. <laughs> and our entire lives here at the theater, we're part of a fictional universe on an independent TV show that you and a bunch of your friends produce together. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I've had that dream. It, it's pretty common. Just means you're worried about your appearance. <laughs> I am not, especially after the new head. I am gorgeous. <laughs> anyway, funny thing is, you only really did the first one just for fun, and as a tribute or a nod to this other show that was on real TV, like, ten years prior, and you never would have done it if it was still on the air. But enough people liked it that you and this other incredibly handsome guy ended up spending eight years getting it as good as possible. Eight years? <laughs> yeah, eight years. Wow. I think that's a long time for you humans, right? That's a chunk of clock. Ugh, you guys are like mayflies. Yeah, so eight years. Yep. So it didn't date much, huh? Are you kidding me? You guys produced a science fiction puppet show. You were rolling in the babes. Nice. But, no matter how much better it got, the viewership for it kind of plateaued. But the people that did watch it really loved it. Very cool. I guess. And you guys would get all kinds of emails. Some of them were just to say, hey, thanks for making me laugh. And some of them were like, hey, watching you guys help distract me while I got through all these serious medical problems, or help me get through my depression, or a really brutal breakup. Oh man, getting heavy. Yep. And of course, you guys being pathetic meatbags, were really moved by that. And even though it started off as a tribute to another show, you were really proud of it. Uh-huh. But... But at the end of the day, there still just weren't enough people watching to probably keep doing it. And you nerds were all mega bummed out. It was hilarious. I mean, like, no matter what you tried, you just couldn't reach a wider audience. It was like trying to fap it in an ice-cold shower. <laughs> oh, man. It was impossible. <laughs> or a sexy challenge. Ugh, well, anyway... Unfortunately, then something really cool happened. Do tell. Well, the original show tried to come back using Kickstarter. Oh. Yeah, and you guys were given the okay to film a promo for it, and it went up on their official YouTube channel. And you thought you were going to get ripped new poopers by an army of trolls. But get this, there wasn't a single negative comment on it, and what in the Yule Log is going on in here? Uh, evil motion tracking eagle statue with glowing eyes. Just go on with your story. Okay. Yeah, so you filmed the promo, it went up on the original show's official YouTube channel, your fans stormed it, they had nothing but touchy-feely, mushy things to say, and it, uh, really lifted all your spirits, and you decided to hang in there for a little while longer, and, uh, open up an account with this, uh, website called, uh, Patreon. And anytime you put up a new video, people who enjoyed it can go and donate. And did they? Well, I don't know, that's when my sleep mode ended. Huh. Well, it, it kind of sounded like it had a happy ending. Why, why was it a nightmare? Did you miss the part where I was a puppet stuffed in a box for sometimes months at a time? Ugh, that sounds rough. But I guess the moral of the story would be listening to other people talk about their dreams is 
boring as hell? Wow, you know, R-I-K-K, -K, Rick, might have needed hooked on phonics. But he never would have said something like that. Sounds like a chode. Mail to the chief of security. Speaking of boring as hell. As read by a Dalek. Whoa, the Daleks are like my heroes. We have the same body type. Where did you get that thing? Uh, it's just a simple voice changer I rigged up with a ring modulator. Oh, that is so cool. Can I play with it? Silence, inferior robot. Rude. X-Day is drawing upon us. Execute the following procedures within one week. Prompt actions are demanded. Lure stars to the estate and obtain B.O.W.'s raw combat data against stars. Collect two embryos of each mutated specimens as samples, excluding the tyrant. Dispose of the tyrant. Exterminate! Also, this is inferior grammar. Specimens should not be plural. Well, if anybody would be a grammar Nazi. Ensure complete disposal of the Arclay Laboratory, including all personnel and test animals. Disguise their deaths as an accident. When the above procedures are executed, Report to headquarters for further instructions. Okay, harsh. If for some reason you are an inferior life form and are unable to execute the procedure by the deadline, report immediately for extermination. In case of emergency situations, report directly to the extension number 5691. Ask to speak to Christian. All right. Good luck and season's greetings from the very merry team at Umbrella. <laughs> oh, despite that last part, that said some pretty damning stuff there. Yes, perhaps it was an error to send this out along with the company Christmas cards. <laughs> oh, Umbrella's got a lousy retirement program. The old are useless and we Oh, I don't have that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Man! Any thoughts at all, Chris? <laughs> uh, just found out that there's a conspiracy to have you and all of your teammates murdered, and it covered up by a clandestine biogenetics corporation masquerading as a cosmetics company. Any reaction at all? This dresser just doesn't work for me here. <laughs> all this redecorating is great for my calves. Now that is an Eagle Metal album cover. <laughs> Glowing purple eyes. <laughs> a jewel sits in the eye. Would you like to take it out? Suppose I would. <laughs> Wait till Jill sees how much Dr. Dazzle this will buy her. <laughs> Again, <laughs> Dr. Dazzle. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Dazzle. Oh. <laughs> Let's check that prostate. Seriously, your bloody stool's really cause for concern. <laughs> really? This is no laughing matter. Yeah, you should really get your affairs in order. <laughs> Who wants a lollipop? <laughs> no, no, forget Dr. Dazzle. Instead, we shall toast with Dr. Wow! <laughs> As endorsed by Christopher Walken. <laughs> yep. Hey, drink, Dr. Wow. It's weird, but it's good. <laughs> and a pair of googly eyes comes free with every drink. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, but seriously, how are we going to make this Dr. Pepper knockoff taste test happen? All we can get our hands on is Mr. Pibb and Dr. Thunder. Oh, I wish we lived in that parallel universe in my nightmare. I'm sure there we had some kind of shipping address where people could send their regionally available Dr. Pepper knockoffs to. Eh, I'm sure we did. We would probably even thank people by name on screen who sent them in. Man, stupid nightmare parallel universe. I get everything. Ah! If you're like me, you like talking to things. <laughs> Nothing changes like the changes, because nothing changes but the changes. <laughs> I hate to put these wise creatures down. <laughs> you put a straitjacket on me, I'll pull out your endocrine system. <laughs> <laughs> That's not real. 
<laughs> oh, it's real. No. The internet says so. <laughs> Why is it so specific? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, that had to be Nick Nolte. Season's greetings from all of us here at the Merry Team on Incognito Gaming Warriors. Please, sir, subscribe. Don't call me Captain Whiskers. Meow. Meow. Meow! Topsy with your nose so bright, won't you pop my corn tonight? I'm not ready to take this bromance to that level. Yes, that sounded far more sexual than I intended it. <laughs>